This is one of our destinations today. It's a uh, pool that stretches the breadth of the canyon. Now the canyon is not very wide. It's a pretty little pool. I'll uh, kind of pan across it as I'm talking to you and you can kind of see just how big it is um, as it stretches from one side of the canyon to the other. Join us as we explore and discover the beauties in this canyon in the Superstition Mountain. At Hidden Gems of Nature, I don't tell you what the destination is. Instead, I give you clues so you can explore and discover these hidden gems or your own hidden gems. So watch carefully as we identify clues to find these destinations. And remember, subscribe to Hidden Gems of Nature YouTube channel. This morning, I'm not giving exact directions. I'll just let the landmarks speak for themselves. There's only one road on the northern slope of the Superstition Mountains. So you can head down that road and take a look at the landmarks as you're heading down the road to the pullout where we park. Welcome to Hidden Gems of Nature. Uh, this is our pullout today. It's just a one car pullout. Uh, you can see behind me the road. We just pull out here on the side of the road. I'll kind of pan around so you can see where I'm parked. The sun's going to catch you in the eye here in just a second. It's just rising. Uh, but we're just here on the side of the road. Join us as we explore some of the gems in this canyon on the northern slopes of the Superstition Mountains. I'm just going to head down the side of the canyon. I'll take some video so you can see how steep it is and know what you're getting yourselves into. There's actually two canyons down below us. One comes in perpendicular to the other, and that's the perpendicular right there, and that's the one we're going to go up today. And then you just have to kind of pick your way down the side of the mountain until you uh, find the one spot that you can get into the canyon from. We just came down the cliff right behind us. We just scrambled down to a little class three scramble. Um, I'll kind of pan up a little bit so you can kind of see what we came down. We just come down through a few of those rocks and crevices. And then I'll turn around and you can see what we're walking down through. We'll get this and then we're gonna go right up that canyon, right where the sun's shining, right in our eyes. So we'll just head down the balance of this face and head up the canyon. As you can see, there's a lot of rocks that have come down, boulders that have come down off the cliffs here. And so, chance for some interesting rock configurations and formations. Kind of pan up so you can see the steepness of the canyon. Sun's just coming over the cliffs, starting to shine down onto the edges of the canyon. The beginning of this canyon is quite a bit different than the end of the canyon where it's narrower and deeper, there's more shade, so there's more green. So the gems are different at each end of the canyon. This, probably the first half of the canyon that we go down has a lot of undercuts on it, like this one right here. Each of them very unique, interesting to look into to see what might be in them. I'll show you a number of these as we're hiking up the first half of the canyon. Like most desert washes, uh, this wash is uniquely designed by nature. And as I pan around, you can see this undercut here, kind of a cool little undercut. What's kind of nice about all these little desert narrow canyons is 
they redesign themselves ever so often when uh, the latest monsoon downpour comes through. So they're kind of exciting to explore and discover a second and a third and a fourth time. And that's what you can do up and down these canyons. They become a little bit more unique each time you go through them with different types of formations. Enjoy yourself as you explore and discover the same canyon two and three times to see new hidden gems each time you go in. We're at the head of the little side canyon that we went up, the one that's shaped like a half pipe, kind of a cool little rock formation to be able to hike up through that little formation of half pipe. Some unique little gems uh, along the hike as we went up this little side canyon. Surprisingly, there's a little bit of water in this half pipe. I'll take a picture from up high so you can see the entire little draw. a number of these little water erosion caves along the canyon. This is one of the bigger ones. Most of them are on river left. We've arrived at one of the gyms on this, on this hike. Uh, we're not quite up the end of the canyon yet, but I thought I'd stop and show you this gym for a minute. It's just a big pool of water. It stretches from one side of the canyon to the other. Now this is a narrow canyon, so that doesn't mean a lot, but it still stretches from one side to the other. It's a pretty little pool. I'll uh, kind of pan across it as I'm talking to you, and you can kind of see just how big it is. Um, as it stretches from one side of the canyon to the other. Again, this is a, not a deep canyon either. You can see the height of it as I pan across. One side, uh, the south side of the canyon, is actually a little bit steeper than the, than the north side of the canyon. But it's a pretty little canyon. Lots of little unique hidden gems in this canyon. I was kind of curious and wondered if there was any fish life in this pool or any kind of tadpoles or amphibian life in this pool. So I decided to drop my camera down inside the water and do a full 360 to see what we could see. I think water bugs have a monopoly on this pool. And I think that's about it, but it's still kind of interesting to see what's down in here. This is the canyon we've been hiking up. Kind of gives you a view down and I'm just standing up where a wash rolls into this canyon. But you can see down the canyon now, again, not super high walls but high enough and steep enough to create some unique hidden gems down in the bottom. There's a number of these little cut channels as you're hiking up the canyon. All of them very narrow and small. Kind of an interesting formation up this canyon. I've seen it in other canyons, but not as frequent as it is in this canyon. We're up towards the head of the canyon now. Uh, the walls are actually steeper uh, and higher. And we're in a deeper canyon. And so the foliage has gotten a lot thicker. We've been hiking in a lot of greenery for about the last uh, quarter to a half a mile. It's quite a contrast from the opening of the canyon where we started the hike. So you come across different kinds of hidden gems on this section of the canyon than you do in the beginning section of the canyon. I'm going to do a 360 view so you can see how steep the canyon walls are here. Big boulder in front of us. Of course, up the other side of the canyon. Walls of this canyon are probably, I don't know, 
800 feet high. But where we started, there were probably only 30, 40, 50. And the canyon bends right there and goes back down. I'll head down that in a minute. I have another cool undercut. Hope we don't slip into that pool down below us, huh? Nice place to take a break. A little something to eat. I'm standing on a small boulder among a bunch of larger boulders. I thought about bouldering some of these and climbing over them and going around them. But I think we're done for the day. I've hiked a little over two miles today. I've gone around a number of boulders already and done rock hopping the entire way. Again, there's no, no trail up this canyon, um, no trailhead, just one of the canyons along the side of the road. Again, this is an uh, unnamed canyon, off of an unnamed canyon, surrounded by a bunch of unnamed canyons. There are a few canyons around here with names on them, but on the northern slopes of the superstitions, a lot of these canyons are unnamed. They're all very unique and beautiful. I'm going to go ahead uh, and continue to circle around so you can see uh, all of the boulders around me. I'm just kind of sitting down here in the middle of them. Take a quick break, enjoy a snack, and head back to the truck. Enjoy yourself as you explore and discover the gems in this canyon in the Superstition Mountains.